Are you on the lookout for a budget-friendly tablet that's perfect for streaming content or for personal, educational, or entertainment use by your loved ones such as grandparents, your parents, or kids? Well, you've come to the right place. In this video review, we'll be taking a closer look at the Huawei Mate 5 SE 10.4 2023 to see if it's the ideal tablet for your requirements. Before we head over to the review, we would like to inform you that our review is also published on our website at digitalreg.net. The Huawei MatePad SE 10.4 boasts a sleek and minimalist design with a matte aluminum back panel. However, the downside to this is that it tends to attract fingerprints easily. The device comes with a folio cover that can be used to prevent direct contact with the panel. On the back panel, you'll find a single extruded camera. When using the device in landscape mode, the camera on the front is centered. The top of the device houses the volume rocker, power button, and microphone hole. On the left side, there are speakers and a 3.5mm audio jack, while the right side features a SIM card tray that can hold two nano SIM cards, a single micro SD card for expandable storage, speakers, and a USB Type-C charging port. The Huawei MatePad SE 10.4 features a 10.4-inch IPS LCD display with a 2,200 resolution, providing a pixel density of 225 pixel per inch. Despite not having the same level of vibrant colors as an OLED display, its 2K display still makes it an excellent choice for watching content. Its great display size and resolution offer an overall wonderful viewing experience. In terms of entertainment, excellent speakers are a must-have for a tablet. The MatePad SE 10.4 does not disappoint in this aspect as it comes with a stereo speaker setup that delivers loud sound. However, there may be some distortion when the volume is at its maximum. Nevertheless, it's still a good option for regular users who enjoy watching shows or consuming content. The Huawei MatePad SE 10.4 is powered by a 2-year-old Qualcomm Snapdragon 680 chipset with an Adreno 610 GPU. While it may not be the latest and the greatest, it still offers decent performance for everyday tasks like streaming content, browsing the internet, and using social media apps. However, we did notice some lag issues when switching between apps. The tablet comes in three different configurations, 3GB of RAM plus a 32GB of storage model with LTE, 4GB of RAM plus 64GB of storage model with Wi-Fi only, and LTE version with 4GB of RAM and 128GB of internal storage. It's nice to have different options to choose from based on your needs and all models offer expandable storage via micro SD card. The Huawei MatePad SE 10.4 runs on Harmony OS 3.0. Some may wonder about the availability of the Google Play Store, but don't worry as you can still download apps from it through the GBox app found on the Huawei App Gallery. For those in need of a productivity tablet, it's worth noting that the MatePad SE 10.4 doesn't have a folio cover with a keyboard that is available in the market. However, you can easily connect a keyboard via Bluetooth if you prefer a physical keyboard. The camera on the MatePad SE 10.4 is only a 5 megapixel rear camera and a 2 megapixel front camera, so don't expect too much from its camera. But it's usable for video calls but not for your next photography project as the picture quality is pale and grainy. Here are some sample pictures. The video capabilities of the Huawei MatePad SE 10.4 are similar to the sample pictures. The video quality is pale and grainy but it can record up to 1080p videos from its rear camera and only 720p from its front camera. The Huawei MatePad SE 10.4 is equipped 
with a 5,100 mAh battery that we find to be small for a tablet. It can only last up to 6 hours of watching content. It also has a mediocre of 10 watts charging speed which is super slow for the battery capacity it is using. When charging the tablet from 0% to 100%, it takes almost 3 hours which is way too long for this generation. The Huawei MatePad SE 10.4 2023 offers an excellent value for its price point. With its 2K display and good speakers, it's a decent entertainment tablet that comes in various storage and RAM configurations, including an LTE version with microSD storage expandability. However, the 2-year-old chipset may not satisfy heavy multitasking users, and the small battery capacity with slow charging speed could be a turn-off. Nonetheless, it is still a budget-friendly option for basic entertainment purposes or as a basic work tablet. If you're looking for a tablet for your grandparents, your parents or kids, the Huawei MatePad SE 10.4 is worth considering even without having the Google Play Store. The G-Box method is easy to understand and doesn't impact the tablet's performance. The Huawei MatePad SE 10.4 2023 retails for 13,999 pesos per LTE 4GB plus 128GB, 9,999 for LTE 3GB plus 32GB, and 9,999 pesos for Wi-Fi only 4GB plus 64GB. And that's it! We hope that with this video review, we were able to help you decide if this one is the right fit for your personal preference in buying a tablet. Don't forget to hit the like button for this video and subscribe to our channels for the updates on our latest videos like this. Thank you for watching and see you on our next video.